is up, Watch Fam, and welcome to this week's episode of Off Topic. I am Christian from Theo and Harris, and today we're going to be jumping into an albeit douchey icon, the Gucci belt. Let's do it. While the history of the Gucci belt is a little unclear, we are certain that it stepped its way into the limelight in the 1970s. A decidedly bold, fashion-forward piece from the traditional Italian saddlery company, it was yet another strongly branded hit, right behind the horsebit loafer and the Gucci Sima bag. But unlike the loafer, which nearly everyone from Francis Ford Coppola to Bruno Mars could get behind, the Gucci belt's life has been hard. Oh, Gucci belt. As a staple for the Italian luxury house, one would certainly hope that the quality of the belts would be top notch, especially for 450 bucks. Well, I've seen varying executions, each with different levels of quality. Some with smooth or pebbled, but both buttery calf that would rival even an Hermes belt, which is over double the price, accented by proper stitching, and others with a raw and untreated style. While the former is certainly of a higher quality, Gucci isn't really cheating its clients in the latter. They're delivering a different, more casual aesthetic. And yeah, the casual untreated belt probably costs less to manufacture and Gucci makes more money, but so what? I suppose it's worth noting that the gold plate on many of the vintage models, at least for the most part, have worn out. But the newer gold tone belts seem to be more durable. Like a solid gold Rolex, Cartier bracelet, or Supreme anything, the Gucci belt is an icon a cornerstone of the upper crust. But while no more obvious or unsubtle than the rest, the Gucci belt caught a bad rap, I think sometime in the early 2000s. It went from a mark of style and bold Italian luxury to way overbranded and overexposed, really the antithesis of its original inception. But Gucci's comeback, which saved them basically from the brink of ruin, breathed fresh air into the entire line including the classic Gucci belt. For women, I'm in. I think the look is bold and sexy. There is nothing subtle about it, and I love that. But for men, I don't feel the same. Same belt, same history, same quality, same significance, different appeal. Most guys wearing Gucci belts are ass lip gloss guidos, people without a style of their own, just latching on to a brand. That said, it can work. While I wear my Gucci belt, which my parents gifted me quite a few years ago, hidden under sweaters, there are men that rock theirs boldly and effortlessly. Just look at this guy. He's slick as hell. And why not? Great men have pulled off way more polarizing and ostentatious and flat out ugly things in the past. I mean, the independent watch business relies on that. So that's it guys, those are my thoughts on the classic Gucci belt. If you like this video, do not forget to thumbs up, subscribe to our channel at Theo and Harris, and more importantly, comment down below. Is the Gucci belt the worst thing ever? Would you wear one? Let's talk.